I'm going to do um, one for every student at the STEM school. Normally, she collects things like books. In, in schools of kind of higher poverty demographics. <laughs> Clothes. You know, collect clothing to make sure that kids, if their clothes aren't fitting. As part of a nonprofit she runs called Project Peace. The cars that were parking along the Northridge Rec Center, which is right up the street, the, the frantic parents um, looking for their kids. When Suzanne Wolf saw the scene close to her home at the STEM School Highlands Ranch, she knew she had to collect something else support. So I called probably 10 different restaurants and just said, this is our zip code. Um, we need to do something different. She didn't want just fundraising immediately after the shooting. Wolf went to businesses to ask for something more. I want them to pick some part of this tragedy and have some ownership of it. So she worked with places like the Whiskey Biscuit. Um, and they're having a special event for us on uh, May 26th, this Sunday from 5 to 9. Places like the Highlands Ranch Golf Club. This is all going to go to the STEM Fund. And the Sports Lounge Off-Broadway to hold their own kinds of fundraisers with Project Peace. And each year they're committing to doing this fundraiser so that it's a sustainable effort. Sustainable. Something different for the STEM victims. What else do we need? How's that working? And we can keep reevaluating because Nelson, I think that's the part where we're falling down is that we're not reevaluating with each milestone. An idea, a collection to help those still reeling from tragedy. In Highlands Ranch, Nelson Garcia, Nine News. And Wolf continues to work to put together more fundraisers. If you want to find out more, especially about the upcoming events, log on to 9news.com.